Welcome to the final video of Workshop 2. In the third Mathematics in Intersen Phase Workshop of 2020, we provided an introduction to the teaching of patterns. This video will focus more on this topic, specifically on numeric and geometric patterns. Before starting with the solving of patterns, let us consider the mistakes that learners make and how to help them avoid these pitfalls. The first mistake many learners make is that they do not read the question carefully. Teach your learners to always read their mathematics problems carefully before attempting to solve it. The second mistake many learners make is to scribble their answers down. Teach your learners to always work neatly and write everything out clearly and neatly. The third mistake a lot of learners make is to think they know the answer and to solve the problem in a hurry. Teach your learners not to rush through a problem and to read the question carefully so that they are not misled by the first two numbers or shapes. The fourth common mistake made is that learners spend too much time trying to solve a problem when they don't know the steps to follow. Teach your learners that they need to use the time wisely and to move on to the next problem when the time is up. They can always return to the unsolved problem at the end of the test. And finally, the other common mistake is that learners do not check their answers and so lose marks because of careless mistakes. Teach your learners to always check and double check their calculations. Now that learners have been alerted to the possible pitfalls associated with patterns and other maths problems, it is time to focus on the actual solving of pattern problems. We will firstly focus on number patterns. To solve number patterns successfully, learners should not guess the answers, but follow the next steps. Determine if the number sequence is repeating or non-repeating. Find the common difference, the constant amount that is added or subtracted between the adjacent two numbers in a sequence. Establish whether the numbers in the pattern are increasing with addition or multiplication or decreasing with subtraction or division. If there is no common difference between the adjacent two numbers, they should subtract the first two numerals and then the second two, for example, such as in the problem on the screen. On the next screen, you will see how to make use of a table to work out the solution to this number sentence problem. You will see that the last two numbers are 49 and 64. Pause the video on the following screen if you'd like to copy this example to use in your classroom. After this video, we will provide you with links from where you can download worksheets on the solving of number patterns. But before doing this, let's all practice solving a number pattern example just for fun. Press pause when the next screen appears and see how you fare with this problem. How did it go? You might want to check your answers. Pause the video to do this and restart to continue. Tell your learners that number patterns can also be identified in tables, flow diagrams and number lines. Ask your learners to give the missing numbers in the balloons. Emphasize the importance of the input number, the output number and the rule of a flow diagram. Determine if they know how to get the input number if the output number and rule are given. Remind the learners that number lines are also important. You can have them practice number line problems similar to the one on the screen. We will now focus on geometric patterns and discuss strategies of how to solve them. Tell your learners that geometric patterns are repeated patterns of shapes or lines. The next three steps will help learners solve a geometric pattern. Step one is to look at the pattern and describe what you see. What do the shapes and structures look like? Step two is to decide whether the pattern is getting bigger or smaller. Determine the answer by looking at shapes that are either added or removed in each term. The third step is to find the rule for each pattern. You should teach your learners these three steps using simple geometric pattern problems that they can solve. 
Examples of basic geometric patterns that learners can solve are shown on the screen. You will find more information on the teaching of numeric and geometric patterns in video 7 of workshop 3 of 2020. This video can still be found on our website. We have reached the end of this video and workshop 2. Let us quickly recap the topics of this workshop. After providing you with an overview of the workshop in video 1, you watched an online video on the power of kindness. In the next video, Kathy Belshaw outlined the five pillars of well-being and explained the meaning of each pillar to us. Video 4 informed us on the content of the DBE's revised teaching plan for Term 2, whilst Video 5 provided us with tips on how to teach multi-digit multiplication. Video 6 was all about the teaching of long division and this video, Video 7, provided guidelines on the teaching of numeric and geometric patterns. Before we conclude, we would like to remind you of the six items of evidence that you need to submit for your workshop evaluation. These appear on the screen now. On the next screen, you will find a link to complete Quiz 4. Also remember to complete the online evaluation and workshop journal. We will ensure that you receive a hard copy of the journal. Thank you for choosing to be part of this workshop. We wish you well as you continue your teaching term.